what is up guys and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today we will be taking a look at the Cabal and their link to the Vex. When exploring the halls of their fortresses recently, I discovered it's common to find their very own blood splattered on the floor. In a chamber of Valis Ta'arik's stronghold tank, you can find a pool of Cabal blood beneath a bridge. Isn't it strange to find so much of their blood inside their very own fortresses? It appears as though battles were waged there before the Guardians ever arrived. From our missions and strikes, we know that the Cabal are engaged in a land war against the Vex, but is there more to this fight than meets the eye? A strong link is present between Mars and Venus. Ties between the two planets can be found in the Black Garden, as well as the Vex time gates found in the Vault of Glass. Mars is known to be primarily Cabal, and Venus is primarily inhabited by the Vex, so the planet's link through Vex machines is further cause for conflict between the races. Yet evidence can be provided to suggest that this conflict goes far deeper than what is commonly known. It's said that few can make it past the Cabal exclusion zone, and still, deep inside the stronghold of a top Cabal commander, we find evidence of recent battles. The other faction in this fight still remains a mystery, but as a constant war wages with the Vex on Mars, it can be assumed that they are the ones responsible for the bloodshed. Guardians are taken far beyond the exclusion zone in search of the Black Gate Spire, which is heavily defended by Cabal forces. Since the Black Garden is the center of Vex operations, it would make sense for the Cabal to have a shared interest in destroying it. So why do they defend the Spire? They have proven themselves to be a strong, tactical race who managed to take over the human settlements on Mars. Since this was the place mankind first discovered the Traveler, one would think their colony here would have a certain importance if not priority. Even so, the Cabal hold a tight grip over Freehold, inhabiting and even laying waste to cities once busy with human life. They are certainly a tactically sound race. So again, why do they defend the Black Garden Spire? They have no interest in protecting the Garden. Or do they? Could it be that the darkness at the heart of the Garden holds control over not only the Vex, but the Cabal as well? Perhaps the mind of the Black Garden made an attempt to control the Cabal in order to remove this highly militarized race from inhibiting their progress to turn Mars into one of their machines. When this attempt failed, the mass war was further inflamed between the two races. Or could it be that the Cabal and the Vex are of the same origin? Perhaps both were aided by a darkness similar in power to the Traveler. This might explain how the Cabal were able to claim Mars from the humans even during our Golden Age. Still, this begs the question, why are both of these races so interested in this planet anyway? What is it about Mars that drives them to such extreme measures? The Vex could have chosen any planet to build their spires and their Black Garden Gate, right? Might there be some sort of power beneath the red planet's desolate surface? It seems a great coincidence that two forces of darkness have such a great interest in the place humans first encountered the Traveler. Could it be simply that they are in search of the source of light, or is this part of a much bigger picture? This may offer some insight into the origins of the Traveler. The Black Garden appears to be on Venus, yet somehow remains a part of Mars. Since the Vex have such a grasp on time, it could be plausible, maybe even probable, that the Black Garden as we know it does not exist in our current time, but in the future, or rather, in the past. This theory would conclude that the Garden is in fact on Mars. 
Now it seems an even greater coincidence that mankind discovers the Traveler, the alleged source of light, on the same planet that holds this heart of darkness. Perhaps the Traveler is not what we think, or perhaps both it and the heart are of the same origin. With the Garden Heart destroyed and the darkness still on the rise, it can be assumed that there is another, or even multiple other dark hearts. Might there also be other sources of light? Other travelers? Investigating the origins of the light and the dark may take us to places we do not understand, or to the far reaches of the universe, which we cannot yet begin to comprehend. For now, we wait in the shadow of our great beacon of light, the traveler. Though shrouded in mystery, we cling to it as a source of hope in these dark times. May we not be deceived with such grandeur and led down a path of darkness so many others have fallen prey to. In the Traveler's Light, I'll see you, Starside.